What's up? So yeah, in this year we got a couple of new accessories for our Macs from Apple. A new Magic Keyboard, a new Magic Trackpad and a new Magic Mouse. But new isn't actually the right word here, they mostly got a new color. But for me, I actually upgraded my Magic Mouse because my older Magic Mouse is still one of those where you need to change batteries all the time. And first you might think, well, changing batteries is always annoying and yes, on the one hand that's true, I never really liked that as well. But if we now take a look at the new Magic Mouse, we can clearly see that the design isn't the best for a device that needs to be charged. I mean, if you want to charge the Magic Mouse, you have to connect the cable right here, and that means you can't use it while charging. I absolutely don't get it why no one noticed that in a complete design process. However, what I need to mention is that so far I never had any issues here. You don't have to charge it that often, and if you simply charge it from time to time while you make a break or something like that, you won't notice any problems. But still it's a major downside and I don't really know why Apple decided to place it right there. I mean, in contrast to that, if we quickly take a look at the new Magic Keyboard, they actually managed to place the charging port right here, which is absolutely perfect. You can easily use it without having any huge problems while charging, so well done Apple. But the charging port of the Magic Mouse is just bad. But in the end I definitely need to say that I still really like the new Magic Mouse. The overall look and the rest of the design is top notch and I definitely need to say that I really like the new black version. I mean just take a look at it, it just looks great and it's my favorite Magic Mouse so far, especially in combination with the new Magic Keyboard. But yeah, the main question is, should you buy the Magic Mouse 2022? And well, if you want to switch to the new Space Gray design, absolutely. I can highly recommend it, it just looks great. But if you already have a Magic Mouse at home, I would say no, because it's not a huge upgrade here, except you still use one with those batteries. I mean, for sure the charging situation is not perfect here, but in my opinion it's still better than the battery version. So if you like to use the Magic Mouse, you will like the new 2022 version as well. But yeah, these are my thoughts about the 2022 Apple Magic Mouse. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for our upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.